now we will take up some algebraic expressions we will be using identities to do factorization consider this first numerical 4x square plus 20xy plus 25y square we have to factorize this expression this is a trinomial now in this case two terms of this trinomial must be a perfect square and both are positive this 4x square it can be written as whole square of 2x similarly 25y square can be written as whole square of 5y and this middle term it can be written as 2 multiplied by 2x and then 5y now we know this identity that a square plus b square plus 2ab is equal to a plus b whole square we know this identity so if we can compare this expression with this formula or this identity we observe that in place of a we have 2x square of 2x similarly in place of b square we have 5y so this is a this can be considered as b and this middle term is actually 2ab so we can apply this identity a square plus b square plus 2ab which is equal to a plus b whole square so in this expression it will be in place of a we will write 2x plus in place of b we have 5y so this expression in factor form can be written as square of 2x plus 5y now this second example we have to factorize x square minus 16 now this 16 can be written as square of 4 now we know this identity that x square minus y square is equal to x plus y product of x plus y and x minus y so in this expression in place of y we have 4 so this will be x plus y so in place of y we will write 4 x plus 4 and x minus 4 that is x square minus 16 has these two factors x plus 4 and x minus 4 but remember that x square plus 16 it cannot be factorized by this method because of this positive sign this can be this identity can be used only if there is negative sign in between these two squares now third is suppose we have to factorize a4 minus b to the power 4 now a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4 in terms of squares it can be written as square of a square minus square of b square now if we treat this a square as x and this as y so this sum is actually square of x and square of y difference of these two terms and we again know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b but in place of a in this sum we have a square so this will be a square plus in place of b we have b square a square plus b square and then a square minus b square now this same identity can again be used to factorize this further factorize this so complete factorization will be a square plus b square then a square minus b square it will be factorized as a plus b and a minus b so factors of a4 minus b4 is a square plus b a plus b and a minus b now consider this quadratic equation x square minus x minus 12 now this expression is not of this form x square plus y square plus 2xy so in this type of trinomial what do we do we try to write this expression in the form x square plus a plus bx plus a multiplied by b that is we split the middle term middle term by middle term we know we mean coefficient of x we want two numbers such that 
sum of these two numbers is coefficient of x which is minus 1 and product of these two numbers is minus 12. So what do we do? We find the factors of minus 12. Minus 12 can be written as minus 1 multiplied by 12 or 1 and minus 12 then 2 and minus 6 or minus 2 and 6 3 and 4 minus sorry minus 3 and 4 3 and minus 4 so we observe that for this pair 3 and minus 4 sum of 3 and minus 4 is minus 1 so these two numbers satisfy both these conditions sum of these two numbers is minus 4 and product is minus 12 so we will write x square minus x as 3 minus 4 x and minus 12 is 3 multiplied by minus 4. Now we can make pairs x square plus 3x minus 4x and this is minus 12. So out of these two terms we will take x as common so it will be x plus 3. And here also if we take minus 4 as common, so we are left with x plus 3. Again x plus 3 is the common factor. We will take out this common factor. So x is left here and minus 4. So factors of x square minus x minus 12 is x plus 3 and x minus 4.